open. All right. Well, it's pizza party time, so we might as well start with the pizza going in the oven. Yeah. Let's do Here it. Go. <laughs> Gotta love that. It's my pal Lee, uh, Slice Medley here in beautiful downtown Martinez. This is the best pizza in Northern California. <laughs> well, Contra Costa County, anyway. <laughs> and I want to thank Lee for uh, opening up the restaurant for the opening up. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And uh, my other camera person is my lovely wife, Beth, who, for anybody who remembers, wrote the first two uh, issues of Adventures that I illustrated. She wow. uh, wrote uh, number three and number four of the Archie Adventures. So if you don't have her autograph, you ain't got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice to meet you. Yeah. And also, you can tell this is a good place because check this out. Oh, heck yes. There it is, man. Awesome. I am not fooling around. This is the turtle's favorite pizza place in Northern <laughs> California. <laughs> anyway, that's what's happening. There's my finger. Look at that. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so I got the magic box here, and uh, I'm going to slip this around so we can do our little thing. Well, uh, well, yeah, Ken, thank the intro, guys. Yeah, I've done my intro. You do yours. Well, well, I, I was going to say this is a special edition of our Foosh cast, and I couldn't be more delighted to have you know you uh, take the time to do a little slash unboxing. You're you, you you have such a long and storied history with the Ninja Turtles that this is just this is so much fun getting to see the very first Archie Adventures figure. Uh, opened by, you know, the, the the man who is synonymous with those adventures. So thanks for taking the time. Oh, my gosh. It's it's my pleasure. I am blown away by all this. I You know, I, I kind of walked away from the franchise for a bunch of years. Yeah. And uh, about three years ago, I went back to Comic-Con and I got mobbed. And everybody's like, where have you been? I'm like, I had a job in animation. I had to make a living. So uh, you're a man of all seasons. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's... Uh, it's been great, and uh, NECA has been fantastic. They've been, uh, you know, you got Trevor right there, and I can't say enough about him. Probably the easiest job I ever had. Well, uh, I, 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 I love to talk to people out there who are into the NECA figures and whatnot, and uh, the, the thing that I love to tell them is, is that there is no person on the planet who is better suited to be handling these figures than Trevor is because he he loves it more than than everybody. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, you think? And he's psychopathic <laughs> about the whole universe. So, you know, he's a, he's a great guy to have in the corner because he's even reminded me stuff like, okay, so how many shell plates? Is it two or three? Um, you know, was it this weapon? What color was this? I'm like, I don't know, man. We were drawing these things like crazy. <laughs> I have to go back and look at Ryan's original drawings. I'm like, yeah, I guess he did have an earring. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was 20, 30 years ago. You know, that was the 80s and the, into the early 90s. Yeah. So. Yeah, well... <laughs> Slash, slash slash is kicking us off for this new Archie Adventures line and and I have to tell you as as cool and, and as looking forward to these figures as I have been when when Trevor told me that you were actually coming on board to do the packaging art I've got to admit before you open yours I've had mine for a minute but I cannot I cannot let this go because <laughs> you are doing all the artwork for this line and it's just it's perfect it's perfect oh. I'm, I'm completely blown away to be asked to do this. It's, it's an honor, you know, it's something you put away in your closet and all of a sudden you're back doing it again. And also uh, my pal, Gary Fields. Now, mm -hmm. uh, have you said anything about that, uh, uh, Trevor? You want to mention Gary? Uh, yeah, no, it hasn't been announced yet. So um, yeah, <laughs> Gary Fields will be doing all the lettering for the boxes. So we, we didn't just want to like, you know, type wow. out, like a just a plain boring logo for all the character names and it, with Ken doing the artwork and we were like oh we got to find someone that could do some cool letter and Ken was just like well just have Gary do it like he did the original <laughs> yeah. he was like I'll just here's his number like call Gary and and so we yeah, started exactly. with Gary and he's awesome and and uh yeah this stuff is like you know it's as authentic and like it's as cool as, as we could possibly make it. All these yeah. guys want to come back and, I got and the band back together again. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah, exactly. Cool. <laughs> well, I feel I, like this really is a turtle tour. 
<laughs> well, well, yeah, and 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 really, it's it's. I'm excited, but it's almost a relief to me because it's taken, I, I can't believe it's taken so many years to finally get some some action figures and some things out there that are directly based off of uh, these stories. Because as a kid, I was introduced to the Turtles via the cartoon. And then these stories kind of picked up, you know, those adventures in a much more, you know, um, detailed and 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 story centric kind of way. It wasn't just oh, 30, 22 minutes and then then out. So these these comics meant a lot to me um growing up and uh man ray is one of my favorite ninja turtle characters because of of, of these stories so i i can't wait for him and i think he's coming up next <laughs> yeah it's pretty it's it's surprising i'm i'm hearing from all over the globe now that i'm, I'm somewhat visible and it's uh it's pretty astounding i had no idea the effect you know because i was yeah. just i was just doing the thing you know it's just yeah. i was helping pete and kevin out those are my pals from the indie days and then they called me and said hey you want to do this archie book and i went sure i was working at tiny tunes i was working at warner brothers wow and, uh started doing the started doing the books for them and i was honored they took such good care of me they're sweet guys and uh just had a great run we just had a great run as a matter of fact <laughs> behind me my second camera woman here that's my wife beth and for those of you who uh had issue three and four of adventures she wrote those so Amazing. you don't have her autograph, you're out of luck. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks we were for doing coming on and joining us, Beth. <laughs> yeah, she answered all the fan mail. She also for the for adventure. So if you got a little card, hi, I did those. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I we, learned how to write Master Splinter in Japanese. <laughs> you got an authentic wow. autograph. <laughs> yeah, exactly. and the fact that you know it, we were working, you know, she did all the Myth Adventures uh, series, uh, Myth Conceptions. We did that Myth series, and then we rolled off, and the the guys being covered said, "We'll have her do the do the adaption of the first two episodes." And we're like, "Wow, cool. yeah. yeah!" And that's while she was working full time at the newspaper too. Wow, wow. So, and, so there you go. I mean, you got we're getting everybody's coming out of the woodwork now. We got Gary. <laughs> I got the red in here. Well, it's awesome. Well, and, and and this makes me think because I mean, Ken, we could we could be on here for hours talking about all of the various <laughs> things that that you have even, worked on. Yeah. Well, even Lee's well, laughing about that. I, I, I know, I know, but just all of the things that you have worked on throughout your you know career. But what what is it about turtles that that sticks out to you? I don't know. It was a wacky idea. It was uh, to begin with. You know, it's a complete non sequitur, and then then you've got you know four good brothers and a and master splinter and the good guys and the bad guys and i mean it's a very very tried and true old story thing but without the brothers without the personalities without caring about these guys without feeling like hey i'm a i'm a kid i'm a kid like they are you know yeah uh then you know you imprint and i think that's a big deal i mean we do that and in, in doing the movies all the time you know you gotta it's all about the characters and the characters pull it without you know, without the guys, you got nothing. Yeah. You got a yeah. name and you don't have, but you don't have anything else. It's important. Yeah. Well, and, and, and after, I mean, when you get done playing with the turtle toys, you give them to your brother, you know, or your yeah. sister. And then it goes in and it just keeps going. It's like Woody, you know, in, in Toy Story. We did Toy Story too. Yeah. yeah. It's just a passing on of toys. That's all it is. See, see, that's, so. that's the right approach for a normal person. It's like you give the toys to your brother. Some of us, we just never get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> We just keep oh, adding fine. more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finding this out. I've been signing a lot of toys and a lot of comic books and hearing wow. a lot of stories from all over the globe. And it's it's uh, it's cool. I mean, I'm looking forward to, to being on the on the tour with NECA next year for, uh, you know, going to a couple of shows and signing stuff. Wow. Uh, you know, just because everybody's just like, how do I get a hold of you? Cause I'm, right now I'm doing I'm doing commissions. I have some downtime between animation. I'm just doing commissions and I'm getting hammered. I love it. I, I, I you know? follow you. I follow you on all your social media pieces and you've been um, getting some really out there, but cool requests for commission yeah. as of late. Oh yeah. Some guy just said, it says, Oh, my cat passed away. I want him with, with uh, you know, <laughs> I want him, you know, being headed outside of a pet shop with yeah. slash. Like that's charming. I'll do that. Yeah. And some yeah. of the stuff's just full gonzo. I want this, and it's like, ah, oh. I'm doing a gigantic piece right now with it, with all the guys fighting in the Technodrome, with, and it's just like, it's like, like I turned into a cover. 
<laughs> well, well, I'll, I'll say one of the ones that I saw recently that you did was your last Ronin with the three brothers uh, singing with their with the harps. Uh, and stuff. That 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 was fantastic. <laughs> that's from my Michael Lawrence, and I told him, I said, "Look, dude, that's a bar of gold. You need to you need to make prints or T-shirts, man." Yeah. You know, I, I've been following, you know, Ben and the guys, and the you know the work they're doing with the last Ronin, and it's just like, wow, cool. And then it just hit me. I'm like. He's constantly hearing the guys and you know, I'm, I'm the one who does the happy turtles. So let's yeah. just, you know, let's, let's have some fun with it. Let's have some absolute fun with it. So, so, uh, so how, how was it being away from for a while and now like coming back to it, you know, in, in full force? I mean, is it, is it like riding a bike or coming back and seeing an old friend or are you, you, you is there a lot of new stuff now? It's kind of, it's odd. It's yeah. very, very odd because i'm not used to it you know it's just like something you do and you walk away from uh you know this is like like the star trek guys you know they did a show for two years they went away and then all of a sudden there's this massive thing well you know i i wasn't sure of the impact i didn't know the impact it was in my studio in florida yeah or i was just, you know i was drawing these on you know in la when i was working you don't think about it you go to, you do, when we were doing the shows, it was cool. And I was there with Pete, you know, Pete and Jim Lawson and all, we take motorcycle trips and the lines would be huge, but we were in the middle of all of it. Yeah. You know, and it went away and I was like, oh, okay, we went away. So, you know, it, it's, for me, it's sobering. Some of the stories for me, it's been uh, exciting. It's fun. I, I love having this. Yeah. I love meeting everybody because being off the market, see that everybody else was already on the market all that time. And for me, it's like coming back for something that, you know, you're just like, hey, I didn't, I didn't expect this at all. I, I love the adulation. People are so nice and it's just humbling. It's humbling as hell, you know? It's a, it, 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 it's a property and, you know, the adventures run of books um, that, that means a lot to, to a lot of people. And when, you know, Trevor and, and the guys at Necker really started to put their foot on the gas and getting all these different iterations going, it's like, I think everybody who has been a fan of Ninja Turtles um, up to this point has now had, you know, their favorite part oh. represented in some way, right? Look at that. <laughs> wow. Dude, that's why I come here. That's service <laughs> right there. Yeah. Oh, dude, that is going to be so good. And of course, it's pepperoni. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Well, we need we need Zoom to put in a, a smell feature now because I, I'm I, I need that. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Lee. I mean, holy cow. You know, this will get anybody out of the sewer. Hey, don't forget yeah. to come check us out. Martinez, yep. California. That's it. Sliceofitaly.com. We're on Instagram and Facebook. Yep. And they are providing this. So, hey. Okay. All right. Anything. Well, thank uh, you. This, this is fantastic. Like I said, yeah. I was kind of, it was lunchtime anyway, and I, <laughs> I asked Lee about this, and she's like, "Yeah, sure, why not?" So. All right. <laughs> well, well, let, let I'd like to talk a minute because I, I'm interested to know, and I'm sure a lot of other people are. How how did um you know you and Trevor and Neca how how did that whole you know working relationship start? Because I know we're into it now, but it actually kind of got kicked off a few years ago, right? Well, yeah, you got to talk to uh, Trevor about that because yeah. he came out of he came out of nowhere with this offer, and I went, "Oh, hi!" Because <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the year I went back to Comic Con that first uh -huh. year, and, and so yeah, Trevor, take it from here, man. You've oh. been the catalyst to this whole thing. You need to beat in so we can open this up too. Yeah, my yeah my my memory of like first meeting Ken, it, I guess it would have been that first year he came back. To Comic Con, we were in San Diego. I was at the NECA booth. We had just shown the quarter scale movie turtles. Mm -hmm. We had like those out front and center. Um, yeah. And Ken was just sort of like staring at them with a big smile on his face. Oh, this is great. And for some reason, I just walked up to him and started talking. And then it, he turned out to be Ken Matroni. I just, I didn't know. I, he was just, he was just a guy like looking at the paint masters we had on display. <laughs> And I was like, "Oh, are you like you a turtle fan or something?" Like, I don't know. <laughs> but we just we just started talking, and then he, I was just like, "Oh my god, is it's can't. so?" We started kind of a friendship just from that, and then uh, and he was telling me how like like he he just said he didn't realize there was this massive like this thirty year following of turtles, and he just of like the Archie comics and everything and he was thinking of next year like you know getting a table or setting something up and he was like oh if you ever 
we I think at that point we knew the following year we were going to have that sort of cartoon box yeah. set. Yeah. yeah, I've got one back there too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I've just I've got my own little like bucket list of toys that I want to make, you know, and and doing a big vinyl carrying case of figures has always been like something I always wanted to do. And so having this, you know, having an eight pack of like the four good guys, the four bad guys, putting them all in an old school collector carrying case, I was just like, I wonder if Ken would want to do some art. Like it, Ken's the perfect guy to, to illustrate that. A carrying that case. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so it had been like a couple months had gone by or I don't know. I hadn't talked to him for a while and I called him. I was like, Hey, I got this project. It's like perfect for you. And he was like, oh, yeah, that sounds great. So then he just started sending sketches. And it's like the turtles just standing out in front of the convention center. It was all just like, it was amazing. So I was just like, oh, this is this is so fantastic. So, And I was in the middle of supervising, directing uh, Mighty Magiswords at Cartoon Network. Wow. And it was funny because he couldn't, because it was a, a We Are Cartoon Network and not Nickelodeon, I wanted to get it inked. Because I'd done the, the yeah, digital yeah. stuff. And I was like, oh, well, I get my buddy Kyle Dink, you know, Kyle Carosa. He's my boss, came up with the show. And he's like a big turtle guy. And he's like, oh, I don't know if I could do this because I'll get in trouble, you know, because he's a, the creator of a show at Cartoon Network. Yeah. So under the table, he did the inking <laughs> of that box set because I, I was so busy, I couldn't do digital inks. <laughs> See, this is the problem with the other stuff is like, like the, I tell everybody now, I'm like, get your commissions now because I'll disappear up a movie or a TV show for three years and you won't get anything. Yeah. So uh, right now, that's, I got to All right, I got to get my request in. I got to get my request in tonight then. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I I highly I have a highly tell cuz right now I'm on I'm on a real long hiatus. I'm waiting on some stuff. Yeah. But that deadline is coming in the yeah. next like week or two. So I'm just I'm filling as many of these things as I can cuz I'm going to be gone bye-bye until, you know, the next convention. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, so yeah, I hooked up Trevor's is hooked up with me on this thing we drew it we got a ton of notes from nickelodeon i'm like why are they telling the guy who came up with this <laughs> how to draw it there were and a couple went, notes where i was like randy i'm embarrassed to send ken these notes like they're difficult. <laughs> <laughs> well i mean you know they're they're, they're clients you know you, you're gonna after years in advertising I'm, I'm used to it so and also working in animation where you get three years of notes on one movie yeah uh, but uh, but you know slash was a walk in the park dude that was that was the easiest thing i've ever done well, you know, well, well been great so well, you know, props to you guys in nickelodeon too well well how do you guys now typically work together because as far as like conceptualizing you know the art or whatever else because i'm i i know we've got some that have been announced and i'm sure there's some that have been worked on that haven't been announced yet but i i'm sure it gives a lot of opportunity to revisit some of these characters um and and give them their their chance to shine on the box art now, right? I mean, you yeah. know, it is for us anyway. I mean, there's, for me, I mean, I just rough out a bunch of poses and stuff. Just thumbnail them. I do them on the Cintiq. I do them in Photoshop. And just, here's the blue line. Here's a bunch of faces and poses and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then I send it to him and he just picks the ones he wants. I clean them up, send them back. And then from there, we go into the note process. There are some characters I haven't drawn in so long that I needed to refresh my memory. I drew Man Ray just a little bit different. I yeah. was making, you know, it was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, his head's a little bit different. But you haven't touched these characters in, you know, over 20 years, you're like, or longer, and you're like, oh, that muscle memory. He looks like Woody. No, he looks like Bugs Bunny. I mean, what? <laughs> you have to, your mind has to smile through thousands of cartoon characters you've drawn. Yeah. You know? You're just like, oh God. So I got out all the books. All the comic books. Yeah, she found she had the file from our office when we were doing the comics. And when I got the file out and went, Oh yeah, ooh, geez, oh my God. Uh so in a way it's it's been a bit of a journey uh to to bring me back into learning how to draw the guys again. Yeah. Uh the problem I was having trouble with uh, at first, I mean it went away pretty quick. I was drawing them too chunky. I was drawing them too muscled, you know, wow. and I'm like, what, I'm Michael Bay? No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> they all look like they've been to the gym. Uh, no, and I'm like, I have to constantly think in my head, I'm like, no, they're teenagers. Draw them like you used to and, and loosen up, make them goofy, make them silly. 
you have to go back to where I was cartoon style wise back then and like, oh, okay. Oh, that's easy. You know, because that was my old fanzine style. Yeah. That's how I was doing that back pre-internet. Oh God. When we came when we were taming the West. Uh-huh. This is what we were doing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's my old fanzine style. And uh, it's it just evolved into through the many iterations of comics that I did into the Ninja Turtle style. And it was so sweet of Pete and Kev because they're like, Yeah, Kenny draws funny stuff, let him do the book. You know, and, yeah. and it was it was kind of cool. And then the, you know. I just had to, I was worried because I had to follow Dave Garcia and Dave's a giant. I love Dave. You know? Yeah. And uh, so it, it was something, it was just great. And Dave, we got Dave to do some inks and stuff. It was awesome. It was great to have that team back together again. Yeah. I love to do that work with Dave. Dave's awesome. Yeah. Uh, but I think that about everybody. Everybody asked me, oh, what about Chris Allen? No, I love Chris Allen. I, his stuff's awesome. Are you kidding me? I mean, if I'm going to be followed up by somebody, I wanted to be Chris Allen. That's, just the best you know yeah he's, he's dude. super super guy well you know? and and that that opens a lot of doors from a from an action figure conceptualization standpoint because you've got characters and then you've got interpretations of characters and things like that so i mean i hope trevor's ready to go until like he can't walk and he's you know in the nursing home making action figures <laughs> because i think we've got enough <laughs> that we're gonna go that many years <laughs> hey come on man i'm on board all the way today i found a picture of uh of shredder uh engineer shredder and, I'm like, and uh Eric that's, that's you man that's you <laughs> dude you need to do this dude you need to do engineer shredder i'm like okay well it's on me now <laughs> but as long as NECA wants to do this as long as they want to you know keep working with me on all this i'm there great company great people and they pay on time <laughs> <laughs> Very important if you're a freelance cartoonist. <laughs> very, very uh, important. Prop, hey, we don't we don't often get to give the accounting department props on uh, little little <laughs> shows like this, so I'm I'm glad we <laughs> do that on this one. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that's so cool. So you now have slash the first figure officially in hand, and yes. are, are 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 we ready to, to do this? I, I mean, you oh, have yeah, of course. Yet, my right? pizza's getting cold. Yeah. We oh, work so hard well. on my pizza; it's getting cold. I want to open right. it up. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to hand this over to my lovely assistant. All right. Once I flip this around, come on, Grandpa, turn that and I get the phone around. There we go. All right. Well, look and shoot. <laughs> I feel like I need a pizza cutter. <laughs> 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 no, there's sanitation laws here. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited. I mean, this is, it, it's, we never knew this was going to happen. And it was funny because I talked to Trevor when we, when we did the, the box set. And it was like, hey, maybe we can do, a, you know, a, some Archie figures one day. And we all just kind of laughed it off. Like, yeah, you know, no one's yeah. ever going to do it, you know? And then we flash forward a couple of years and all of a sudden, bang, uh, here we are. Yeah. I mean, well, pretty cool. well, pretty when cool. they when they were announced, they were announced alongside a lot of other really cool and important stuff. But this this was oh, the stuff the that video. made me so podcast. excited. <laughs> you guys went out of your minds. I was so happy. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, thanks, Trevor. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, thank God thank it's you. not peanuts. It was peanuts. <laughs> oh, dude. I got two of them. Thanks, ah. man. Wait, thanks, you Nessa. Got to keep one in the box. Oh, yeah. I got a new over here. <laughs> dude, look at that. Nice. Oh, look at the printing. Holy cow. You can tell. You can just find the artist. Oh, look at the printing. Yeah. Well, and the panel, the, the side panel, too, with the red behind it is really cool. Oh, wow. Boy, that came out great. I thought you were going to use the whole figure. That's cool. I like that better. Yeah. Look at that. Hey, <laughs> issue one. Are we going to keep doing issues? Yeah, we're going to. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's a good gimmick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, look at this. This is great props to the art department man these are this is this is kick ass <laughs> it's it's kind of kind of crazy to look at something that you drew like a million years ago on one cover and here it is in your hands 
Well, that that's that's why you got to have two of them so you can keep one pristine and pretty in that uh, pretty box. Yeah, I don't I don't want to go to toy collector hell by opening this up, but I'm going to open it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think I know where I can get another one. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, you've already got the artwork on the bottom too. Yeah. Yeah. To, yeah. This is the, the stuff that's coming soon, man. This is great. I'm, I'm, I've, I've been, I've been a pain in Trevor's butt, like saying, oh, we got to, we got to finish that whole mute animals team. We got to do it. We got to do it. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm sure there's more to come. I, you know, I'm glad this was a hit. Everybody I know ordered a mute. Once they saw your, your, uh, the Foosh broadcast, it's like, I ordered two, I ordered five, I ordered two. <laughs> like, man, oh man, I think these are going to be a hit, you know? And I, I, <laughs> I, I have a feeling I'm going to be going broke buying sharpies because i'm going to be signing a lot of these things <laughs> well, <laughs> well and and slash was such a good one to start with because i think i think this version of slash at least for a lot of people that i talk to this is like the like seminal version of him right the the cartoon yeah. version's a little weird and there have been other interpretations and whatnot but this is the big thick you know Big, big, uh, tank yeah, big monster. Dude, you turtle. put the artwork in the box. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. that's like getting a twenty dollar bill from your grandmother. Look at that. <laughs> Thanks, grandma. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so cool. And they blew the dot pattern up too, so it looks like the comics. Either that or the comics did that. Yeah, that's really nice, man. That is super nice. Four color turtle. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at this. This is what gets me, you know, I'm just like something that's that, like I said, it just came out of your head. It's just nuts. Now we can just get it out of the box. <laughs> Use the pizza cutter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, they got to got, got keep this big boy securely in place. <laughs> you don't want him to get broken. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I was thinking with as big as he is and all the, the spikes, he's like, who do you keep on your I mean, knife in case weapons, something breaks I in? Have, I, think, I think there are there are restrictions for children. Knife will do it. These little They just want to get him out of the box. <laughs> all right, stand back. All right, stand back. <laughs> this is an absolute ninja. Oh my unbox. god. <laughs> Oh, don't slash your finger. Oh my god. Uh, there will be blood, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> that'll make it that'll make it more uh, uh there there, there will be literal blood and sweat put into this now. <laughs> hey, it's not like my dad used to say, if you if you don't bleed on it, it's not yours. <laughs> my dad the car mechanic, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. This is cool. I love the line work on it. This reminds me of the other stuff you were doing when you started doing this line stuff, Trevor. Oh yeah, the stylized. Uh, yeah, I, I think it. It. This is the. I think the best version of that with the. Um, you know, there's like the little cross hash, hatch marks on his shoulder. Just like mm -hmm. it's Jeff and uh, Mike that do all the the painting on these things. Really. They've got that stylized paint job down. It, it, yeah, what it, did you start doing that on? Well, Remember it's... You started doing the, the line work on one of the figures? There was, the like, the cartoon has, like, this the shell, the cell-shaded look. Before that, we were doing, like, the pixelated colors on the video game figures. So it's kind of like we just started doing these really stylized paint jobs on lots of different things, and it's evolved over the years but yeah i think the black lines on on these guys it, it really uh really helps to just like bring out like details on the sculpt and it, yeah it, they look, they look that, great it brings that source material it brings another level of that source material into the the figures too because all of like the the little dots and specks oh, and circles on him are so clean yeah Yeah, well, no. I got news for you, fans. You'll never get it out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was meant to stay in the box. That's. Uh... <laughs> it's, it was easier to draw him than get him out of here. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, and uh, Paul Harding, the sculptor on this, um, I think he just did an absolute dynamite job bringing, you know, your work into this 3D tangible piece too, right? <laughs> yeah, Paul sculpted it. Paul's awesome. He's done a ton of figures for us now. Yeah. Um, Here he is. Next time we'll get some scissors. Bingo! Hey, we have release. <laughs> Drum roll, please, timpani. Oh, that's this is better than the mock-up you showed me at the railroad museum. Though. Holy cow! Check that out. He he moves really well and is very expressive with with his different movements too. I think. Me or the figure? Both. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you seem like a real person. <laughs> The detail is killer. All right, what do you think, Lee? That's badass. That's <laughs> so kick ass. Isn't that great? It's beautiful. You, you need a whole <laughs> army of those mine in the kitchen back there. <laughs> <laughs> but a whole army of these running the kitchen back there. They'll eat all your Jeez, stock. I'm though. having stocking issues. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> oh my God. That is. <laughs> God, it articulates really well. Now I want to do a stop motion animated thing with it. Yeah. Ne ne oh, Nick has got some of that stuff going on, uh, your stop motion stuff that you do. Yeah. <laughs> this is killer, dude. This is just the best. Are they all going to look like this? I'm not going to get any worse. I'm just going to be playing with this damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well done, guys. This is gorgeous. Yes, yeah, he, 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 he's, he's a really, he's a really great kickoff figure for sure. I mean, if the, 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 he represents what this line is going to be, I think people are going to be in for a real treat. Well, like I said, it's, it's, it's really, you know, you really can't say much because you're kind of stunned to hold something that you drew flat on a piece of paper in the eighties and nineties. Yeah. It's it's amazing. It's just it, you, it's hard to put it into words. I'm just like I'm holding one of my drawings. You know, I'm used to seeing like stuff that you do like in the animated films, and you see them up on the big screen. You're like, oh, that's really cool. The only other time I had this feeling was when uh, in, during Toy Story two, uh, I went and uh, with John Lasseter had me go to to wed with him and look at the uh, what is now Astro Blasters. The uh, Space Ranger spin right? Mm -hmm. Since I designed Zerg, I, uh, I, I was like, well, you designed him, you go ahead and, and do the do the approval. And I walked into this room at WED, and something that came out of my head was bigger than the ceiling carpet yeah. and stuff. And I was, I'm having that moment again. <laughs> well, well now, and now, and now speaking... Speaking of Toy Story, you'll bring Slash into your house, and when you're not there, he'll just come alive and play with all the rest of the stuff that you got. There. What are all these pieces doing here? Yeah, <laughs> I gotta get him. Well, uh, I've gotta get him a palm tree. He'll get very upset. Yeah, I really dig. Uh, I love all the props. You know, does he stand? Yeah, go ahead. Absolutely. Uh, I love the hands, the extra hands, the weapons, which you know they need to be a little bit sharper so you can get them out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> that was really cool. Well, yeah, you, you mentioned that the side that he has, we talked about like the line work and the shading on there. That, that, yeah. that That's crazy because it carries over into the sign. I think it's one of the best examples of it. Yeah, yeah. The two tone, the two tone uh -huh. work, that, mm -hmm. that's, that's the drawing. Yeah. I mean, we're dealing with the drawings here. That's the cool part. I mean, that's yeah. the, yes, look at that. Yeah, this is, this is marvelous. I mean, that's the real stuff. Dang. Yeah. Trevor, really nice, dude. Really just, I, I can't say enough about this. I can't wait to see the rest of them now. <laughs> well, I, yeah, now, I'm too. now I'm a fan now. Well, 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 speaking of which, Ken, let me put you on the spot. And uh, because I said that I'm a big Man Ray fan and I know he's coming up next and we don't have to talk about things that haven't been announced, but of all of the Ninja Turtle characters that, you know, you had a hand in creating or giving your interpretation to, who do you want to see the most come out into this line? Uh, 
basically the entire series. <laughs> No, I, I would love, I have so many favorites of these characters. Um, and, you know, of course, I love Man Ray, one of my favorites. Wingnut and Screw Loose. Um, yeah. or, um, you know, they're just, there's just a bunch of really cool characters that lived in the Archie universe uh, that I would love to see, you yeah. know, whether I do them or not. I mean, there's, there's, there's some really great ones that I would love to see. I mean, yeah. I, it, you can't pick one. It's like having, like picking your favorite child. You know, you got to, I've got, I've got 20 kids here. We'll pick your favorite. Eh, no. When, you know. when, when it, when it runs the gamut of, like you said, Man Ray to Wingnut and Screw Loose to Buff Ace Duck and Cuddly, it's like, how do you, how do you decide? <laughs> uh, well, to me, to me, and Trevor and I have been goofing around. I threw this out as a gag and I said, well, hey, why don't we do a, a cuddly carrying case that you could put the, the turtles in? And, you know, Trevor's like, are you kidding me? I'm like, no, I, I, I was just joking around. He's like, no, dude, we should do that. And <laughs> then, and then you got to make it, Trevor. <laughs> you got to make it wall mountable so you can hang it on the wall too, right? <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That would be like super cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I got, I got no words, guys. I'm, I'm completely blown away by it. I can't stop looking at it. You know? Well, this is. This is such a cool treat, um, you know, to see you get to experience this. And as you said, um, you know, your drawing coming out in like a perfect 3D form, I think. I, I don't think that's hyperbole, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, this is also tough. The sculpting team and the art team get big props because we were drawing these comic books so fast. I would get the models from, from Ryan Brown and I'd hammer those books. You know, I was drawing most of them on the weekends. I was doing covers during my lunch break at Warner's. Or sometimes I would have a couple of weeks, I just, you know, I had to dash them out. And, uh, you know, there's inconsistencies all over the books. And when you start doing this, you have to find the model. You have to find the face. You have to find the stuff. And they went not. And, uh, you know, just yeah. fabulous. Because there's some stuff I look at in the book, I'm like, oh, I forgot that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, like I said, we were we were in a hurry, you know. It stuff was selling good. We had to make a deadline, and I was already working in animation. Is that the reason I had to give it up? I mean, it was yeah. like, "Where's the turtles?" And was, well, I talked with Peter Laird, and it was just like, "You got to make a choice, man." And I I just decided I had to go to LA. I had to go back into animation. Yeah. And I said, besides, we had we had Chris, and Chris was kicking my butt, and I brought Garrett Ho in and Mike Casala. We had a stable, so in case anything happened, we'd be covered. And uh, I'm really happy the way it turned out. You know, I'd love to do the books again, but this is awesome. This is cool too. Yeah, you know, I'll do this all day long. <laughs> really, guys, nicely done. Nicely done. I mean, just the packs on the back. God, the details insane. Right down to it, they don't tell you. Yep, right there. <laughs> the turtle tail. Pretty cool. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I, I've just devolved into like the instant seven-year-old. I want to sit on the floor and play with this. <laughs> no, that. <laughs> I, 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 I can promise you, a lot of people watching this can relate to that, having opened up this figure. <laughs> and there he is. I couldn't have brought a better person to a pizza party. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely gonna put that right there. Thank you, Lee. This is cool. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, very awesome. Well, awesome. I, you know, I'm absolutely stunned. The box art, the packaging is absolutely off the charts. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> I just didn't want to open it up. But I got one. What did you call it, Trevor, when you get two? Oh, one to rock and one to stock. Yeah. One to rock and one to stock. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got a whole closet saying, in my right? basement devoted to that mindset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I noticed. <laughs> thank you very much. I, I uh, would like to take this opportunity to thank all the fans and everybody who's, who's you know, checked me out, you know, just look for me and, and, and ordered stuff and, and followed this all these years and all your your wonderful letters and notes and emails and the outpouring of just love and story and, and everything else the, the fans have made this possible i want i want to thank them for that 
they made this possible, which is well, well and, and 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 thank you for thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, well, thank you for coming on and uh, you know chatting with us about this. This was this was fun in a very you know relatable yet surreal kind of way, getting to see you experience this. So um, ho hopefully, maybe we can come back again when there's another one that comes along, or definitely catch you when you are go on tour with these guys uh, next year, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, I definitely want to do that. I want to meet everybody and, and you know and continue this turtle relationship. I'm all. But and by then, <laughs> by then, Man Ray, by then, Man Ray should be out. So I'll be bringing you a box uh, to to sign, and I'll supply these sharpies so you 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 because because you'll be burning through them by then. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, I think Lee will be have enough pizza for the for the next round. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> I was just here yesterday at the pizza special. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ten bucks, salad, the pizza, and the drink. Well, I love it. well, yeah. well, that that oh, is a great endorsement. And we don't want to keep you from your pizza uh, so it won't get cold. <laughs> but uh, Ken, thank you so much for checking out Slash um, with us and taking the time. This has been an absolute um, blast. So enjoy the figure, enjoy the pizza. And uh, hopefully, like I said, we'll get to uh, come back around and do this again sometime. It's going to take me a long time to get over this. Trevor, <laughs> thank you very much. And thank the guys in NECA. And, yeah, uh, of course. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much for for uh talking it up and, and being so so genuine and kind and you know uh just wonderful about the about the old archie comics and everything it was, oh, uh, i honestly it, i think we get more time in our lives than life. anything so yeah yeah i love this guy <laughs> <laughs> i can't help it i just want to jump up and down like yeah <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much. And uh, Ken, enjoy your pizza, and hopefully we'll get to talk again soon. Yeah, please, absolutely. Yeah. All I right. need to come back for pizza, so send me more figures. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. All right, thank you guys yeah, very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need a display up here at the pizza place. Yeah. All right, thanks, and guys. And from behind the camera, bye from me, too. Bye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's what you spin it around. <laughs>